Today is September 2nd, 2022. The S&P 500 and NASDAQ closed down today despite the fact that both indices were up 1% at the open. This is especially interesting since both indices formed bullish hammer patterns yesterday. What can this mean? How many similar failed hammer patterns happened before? And when they happened, how did the price behave in the next several days and weeks? I decided to investigate the last 30 years of data to find out the answers to these questions. Before I share the results of my investigation, let's quickly review what happened today. The market gapped up in the morning as a reaction to the latest jobs data that showed that the U.S. employers added 315,000 jobs in August and the unemployment rate rose to 3.7%. After the index opened, it has initially sold off a bit, but then quickly rebounded and continued to advance until it hit a big-time resistance line. Here's the intraday chart of the NASDAQ futures. As you can see, the market breadth indicators, cumulative tick, and the NASDAQ's advancing minus declining issues supported the bullish stance during the first two hours of the session. However, after the index stalled its advance and formed an intraday bull trap pattern, it started to sell off. On top of that, when we look at the 30-minute chart, we can notice a bearish divergence being formed on the TRIX indicator. Given these bearish developments, the index continued to drop for the rest of the session. Let me now speed up my recorded screen so you can see the rest of the session. After that, we'll review the examples of the failed hammer patterns from the last 30 years of data. So when I looked at the historical examples of the failed hammer patterns, I haven't found too many. Most of them happen during the bear markets. Let's start with the first one. This one took place in July 2002. The price has initially sold off, then rebounded, and then sold off again. The second example comes from 2008. In this case, the price has also initially dropped, then rebounded, and then sold off again. Okay, the next example comes from the early 2009. After forming the failed hammer pattern, the price has also initially dropped and reached a generational bottom in March 2009. Then it started its meteoric rise. So, what are the conclusions of this simple historical analysis of the failed hammer patterns? 
First, there are relatively few prior cases. Therefore, it's really hard to draw a robust statistical conclusion based on this analysis. Second, all the similar cases from the past suggest that the price might experience selling pressure during the next several sessions. What happens after that is a big, big question. Do we drop like in 2008 or do we bottom like in 2009?